This is Cybert signing into Kane's Wrath. On the map, Amaru Khan. I don't know how to pronounce that, but this is one of the black neon maps, a relatively new map pack from a 2v2 tournament. As the Cyan GDI making up player one in team one, this is Shock Trepid. His teammate as the green marked of Kane, this is Eclipse. And on the south side of the map, kicking it as the yellow GDI, this is Drive. And as the red marked of Kane, this is Phoenix. Shock Trepid Eclipse vs. Phoenix Drive in a 2v2 on a brand new map. This is from the 1.03 Black Neon Maps Tournament. So it was a 2v2 tournament that, I don't know, was relatively recent in the year 2022. So March or April. I guess by the time this video comes out, it might be May. But... A wonderful 2v2 featuring GDI and Mark of Kane versus GDI and Mark of Kane, which feels like the new GDI versus Black Hand from years and years ago. Lots of nod details on this particular map and uh, some neon lighting accents as well, which I guess fits with the name. And that answers the question as to whether or not this is traversable, because if you look at the mini map, right, you've got a pretty close little expansion field but then the corner fields look a little bit like they are death traps but it looks like this is traversable terrain so this is actually much less of a death trap than it kind of looks like on the mini map by the way big thanks to the folks who support the channel over on patreon longtime supporters like isaac h joel s yuri s double evil David R, Paul D, and relative newcomers like Sparky Amser Ampersand, Gabriel F, Chris T, BBB, Havas Man. Big thanks to all of the folks who support the channel there. Drive bringing in a little bit of aggression here. The EMP catches two of those pit bulls. Shock Trepid showing up with his own pit bull to defend Eclipse. And it looks like the Scorpion and the Rocket Squads are going to be plenty to push back these pit bulls. Fast expansions coming out here from a number of these players with the short walk between the big green Tiberium field and the smaller green Tiberium field on each side. Actually, I guess it looks like each side has one big and one small and then one with two medium fields. So a little bit of diversity in how the arrangement of the Tiberium fields works out for each side. But of course, it's mirrored between the teams. Eclipse pushing back drive and it looks like Phoenix is also getting pushed back on kind of the northern half of the map. By the way, if you guys aren't already aware, there is a new kind of show match tournament hybrid coming up. It's called East versus West. Onk Onk or uh, Big Mole is how I know him, but he's putting it together and uh, there should be a trailer out for it as well coming up May 8th. And then the second day of games is May 15th. And the East team is Futurama Drive, Eclipse and Shock Trepid. Operation Center coming up here for Eclipse, and it's a series of 1v1 and 2v2s, kind of like a team format from other forms of RTS. Four Orcas on the deck for Shock Trepid. We're going to go over the West team in just a minute, but uh, Shock Trepid heading out with a couple of Orcas. He's got the Crane as well, a couple, couple of Predator tanks in the corner of the map. Eclipse may be having a little bit of trouble with some of these garrisonable structures which have been taken by Drive. And Drive now with a good number of rocket hum, uh, rocket pit bulls coming in here. And as you can see, the rockets do fly a bit faster in 1.03 than they do in 1.02+. plus. EMP grabs three of those pit bulls, and it looks like the Orcas closing in on the Scorpions and on the Harvesters of Phoenix. But those Orcas are not going to be able to clear out the ranks of that... Marked of Kane player. Phoenix defends himself. It looks like Eclipse defends himself as well. This Harvester 
Well, we'll see if these pit bulls are able to escape. They might have to sacrifice themselves dunking on one of these harvesters. And unfortunately for Shock Trap, at the splash damage there, lining up those harvesters and taking some additional damage. One Orca does go down, but these pit bulls trying desperately to kill a second Orca. They do finally get it down, and Drive will sacrifice these units, but he does call in an Orca strike on the deck of this airfield, forcing Shock Trap it to not be able to safely land his airfield there, his air forces there. Catalyst missile firing off somewhere. It looks like it's going to hit drive over somewhere. Not actually sure where that where that actually landed. Orca strike does come in. It hits the airfield. Cleans a chunk of that health up for the current moment. Shock trepid escaping to the corner, expanding it there. And it looks like a little seed Tiberium does get deployed. Grenadiers clearing out that building and drive moving forward to Eclipse's expansion. No one has taken the corner in the southern half of the map. There's the Catalyst Missile, finally lands there as that red refinery gets eliminated. Sniper team's being called in, but I think the Avatars might be the bigger problem that you have to deal with. No, it's going to be Rocket Infantry. Reinforcements coming in here for Drive. He's going to keep up the pressure. Shock Trumpet showing up with a Watchtower, but no AP ammo on that guy. EMP locks down the Avatar, the Obelisk, and the refinery here as the Predator tanks close in ranks. Orcas as well adding their DPS to this attack, and the Avatar now getting targeted down these orcas cycling in from drive just making this army that much more difficult for eclipse to deal with and the orca strike comes in from shock trepid nailing one of those predator tanks the emps now firing off from the other side as this orca has not been dealt with but the supercharged particle beams will eventually whittle away these predator tanks reinforcements coming in from shock he's got four orcas here ready to bring death from the skies Although, no, he decides to just fly over top and take a look at what his opponent is doing. Catalyst Missile locks down a big chunk of health on that refinery, but it doesn't kill it as the Scorpions from Phoenix closing in on the infrastructure of Shock Trepid, but he's not going to be able to get much done. Only two Scorpion tanks survived the first volley of rockets, and it looks like he will be able to clean up one power plant, perhaps, but not much more than that. Ra uh, Railguns finishing up here, but Phoenix bringing the pain from the skies vertigos bombing out some of these predator tanks and they mostly escape from the wrath of the mammoths drive backing off his orcas getting pushed away by the forces of eclipse and that attack looked like it was about to smash into eclipse's critical infrastructure but eclipse did push it back maybe a little bit of help there from shock trepid but not much overall Orcas coming in once again. I'm not sure where Shock Trepid keeps sending these Orcas to. It looks like the Southern EMP Control Center has been captured by Drive, but he will not be able to utilize it. Pitbull's definitely a worthy inclusion into this army as these Vertigo bombs keep falling. Another wave of Phoenix's forces coming through here. A little bit haphazard and a little bit disjointed, these attacks trying to do some damage into the somewhat unprotected region of Shock Trepid's base, but he's just not finding the damage. Firehawk comes through for drive, but it will not be enough. And the Obelisk does get targeted down. Avatars on the front line against Railgun Preds and Railgun Mammoth Tanks as Shock Trepid is looking to actually go on the offensive and defend his third base. EMP locks down a couple of those heavy GDI units, but it won't be unmatched as shockwave artillery returns fire drive coming in with his orcas to deal with these heavy gdi tanks targeting them down one by one and the tip vein detonation annihilating those husks and stopping the scorpion tanks from coming forward a sonic emitter from drive helping to hold the line and vertigo bombers coming in for another bombing run the supersonic airstrike misses those orcas and one of them goes fully heroic as the scorpion tanks are annihilated there. The reinforcements coming slowly but surely for Phoenix. He will be able to survive the night. He will be able to hold off this first wave of the GDI army but it is close proximity to the third base 
of Shock Trepid. And will we see a Redeemer? Eclipse is going for it. Still, no one has taken this southern corner base. Drive slowly marching his way forward. His Marv powered up. It looks like Grenadiers in here as well as two railguns and a single engineer. I kind of wonder if that was a misclick or if he really does believe in the power of the Grenadier inside of the Marv. I mean, hey, it can be good, but I don't know that it's that good. Shockwave artillery coming in. It locks down the Redeemer just as he spawns in, but the Orcas deal with the Juggernauts, and I'm not sure that Drive is going to be able to hold up this attack. No, indeed. He backs completely off. He says goodbye. I am out of here. He backs up to his MCV and Drive bringing in the... Uh, oh, he's trying desperately to stop that Orca Strike, but the Orc Strike only catches one of the Juggernaut Husks, so he is going to be able to reclaim the second one. He barely gets it there as the Rage Gen fires off and one of the slingshots goes down. Orca's now coming in and Vertigo's from the other side to snipe those juggernauts. Perfect strike there by Eclipse to clear out that artillery. The EMP locks down the Marv and Spectres are here on the other side. Firehawks waiting for their targets, trying to target down the Orcas of Shock Trepid, and that Redeemer so close to death, but he survives. The fully heroic Orca does go down. The Slingshot wins the air battle, and it looks like, for now, one of the Juggernauts does survive, and the Redeemer manages to last long enough to watch the Redeemer engineering facility go down. Meanwhile, on the north side of the map, Phoenix getting pressured more and more by Shock Trepid. GDI winning in the north. GDI winning in the south. And the Juggernaut falls as the Mind Drop comes in. The EMPs on top of that Marv once again landing on it. But one Avatar and one Juggernaut about to be reclaimed by Drive. The Vertigo Bombers making another pass. The EMP has been escaped for now as another Rage Gen fires off wreaking havoc on this GDI army and causing confusion where there is already mayhem. Shock Trepid continuing to press forward on the north side, closing in to the fall far few units of Phoenix, who is completely relocated to the southern half of the map. His MCV trying to make an escape, trying to make a getaway as this Redeemer just goes further and further away from the front line, trying desperately to escape the powerful forces of Drive. couple of uh, Venoms being mixed in here from Phoenix. I guess his air tower did survive. He's able to target down one of the Spectres and deny that artillery from Eclipse. Wow, Shock Trepid is literally just going to take over the main base of Phoenix, and Shock Trepid is doing the same thing that Drive is doing, but Shock Trepid is doing it a little bit quicker than Drive. Drive closing in on the last couple of structures of Eclipse, and this Redeemer will fall to the Venoms. Those supercharged particle beams giving them the DPS that they need. It looks like Eclipse will fall, but Shock Trepid is ready to go full power. I don't know where Eclipse's last building is. Okay, he's got a crane on the right side of the map. He's holding out just barely as Shock Trepid scouts through with a bunch of pit bulls. And Shock Trepid now going to be basically playing a 1v1. But there is just a little bit of Phoenix left over, which I guess does make this a 1v2. The pit bulls do get targeted down. The Orcas are here to fight. And Shock Trepid has his work cut out for him. He is going to be going on a pretty good 1v2 for the next couple of minutes. Uh, Bloodhounds getting called in here, but they're just sort of being thrown at the forces of Drive and Phoenix. Well, really thrown at the forces of Drive. Phoenix doesn't have much to do with this fight at all. The Orcas getting targeted down as they try and make their way to that airfield, which itself is being eliminated Someone beaconing that EMP control center trying to see if there is something there to be grabbed. An additional EMP would be nice, not just having to rely on the Grenadiers or the Shockwave Artillery. Shock Trepid with his double Mammoth Tanks and Hammerheads trying to push this Marv back. No support for the Marv makes it a dangerous thing to send forward by itself. 
It is getting targeted down and just overwhelming hammerheads staying on top of the Marv. And the Venom's finally coming in to push back the hammerheads, but the damage has been done. The Mammoth Tanks closing in, and they will be able to defend their hammerhead friends for a moment as the Venoms try desperately to stay on top of these hammerheads. Drive showing up with his own Firehawk loaded with those anti-air missiles. The Venom's continuing to just break down these hammerheads one by one. The hammerheads looking to trade out their lives to try and get some kind of value. And is he going to be able to find the army? Shock Trepid eventually makes his way to his army and the Venoms of Eclipse clashing with the Venoms of Phoenix. Hammerheads finding a safe zone in the old main base of Drive. Drive turns to the south. His Orca's looking for some targets. They only, oh, they only find the air tower of Eclipse. And I mean, hey, if you've got that supercharged particle beam, it definitely is a good idea to go for that air tower quickly. That's a good way to help out your ally in a 2v2 situation. So the East versus West tournament slash show match series that Big Mole is running. The West team is Bike, Leaf, Green Zero, and Phoenix. So I believe day one, which is May 8th, is going to be, uh, I think it's two 1v1s and a 2v2. So that is going to be a fantastic set of games. And then there is going to be a follow-up set of games to check out on the 15th of May, a week later. This blue Tiberium really has not been harvested very heavily. Fully heroic Orcas, two of them are here for Drive. They do manage to get a kill on one of, I think, Shock Trepid's uh, avatars. I think he did, uh, did recover that. Venom's coming through. I'm not sure what they're hoping to drop bombs on. The Venoms, I think, still have the Tail Gunner, which makes them do a little bit of anti-air damage, but not much. Ooh. Shredder turrets are here. So yeah, I'm going to be casting the replays of East versus West, but there will be a number of people live streaming it on the day. So check out the trailer for East versus West. Get all of the information. And uh, the prize pool, I think, is up to 350 euros that is going to be divided up based on how the games go. And yeah, so it should be a really fun event. Should be a super sick series of games between all of the matches and all of the players that Big Mole has lined up for it. Slingshot just annihilating those Venoms. A number of these Venoms low on health already. And Shock Trepid. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think someone just, just typed that in chat. And uh, I guess in this particular map, the chat displays? I don't know if this is like a 1.03 change or what. But yeah, a Harvester is bugged somewhere. So Phoenix does want drive to know that he's telling it drive that and uh that's kind of weird that it displays there i mean it's kind of nice i wish it wasn't in the middle of the screen the chat log but uh it's nice to have a chat log at all is he saying it a lot or is this engineer going to be able to grab this tier three this harvester might accidentally snipe this engineer no barely he's not in range did drive forget about the engineer Oh my gosh, this Harvester so close. His guns are almost literally trained on it. Drive. Uh, what are you doing? Okay, <laughs> he is going to go for the tier three. And yep, there's the tech center. As he gets it, he fires off the radar jamming missile just to glitch out his opponents in case they tried to do anything. And what is Drive going to try and do? Causing the supersonic airstrike just misses those Venoms as Shock Trepid Shock comes through with his pit bulls as well. And uh, well... That Harvester is either super duper bugged or the chat log is bugged and it's just going to flash up on screen every little while, which is uh, not exactly how you want a replay chat log to function. There's a random refinery over there. The tier three is being held onto, which probably means that Drive wants to do something else with it. I don't know if he's going to sell that off or what. 
But this game just going absolutely insane as Shock Trepid pivots to the north side of the map entirely. And this becomes instead of like a top left versus bottom right kind of a map. Okay, there's the Sonic Emitter getting deployed there. And actually the Pitbull and the Hammerheads all showing up. And it looks like this will have to be sold off. No anti-air to defeat this many Venoms. And unfortunately for Drive, his great attempt to try and take over this game with engineers and sonic emitters doesn't quite work out but firehawks fully heroic loaded with anti-air missiles crash into those venoms and eliminate a couple of them shock trepid trying to pivot uh, not a lot of cash left on the map but he does have a pretty good spread of refineries to be able to take those places back take that tiberium back under his control couple of harvesters from phoenix maybe that's what he meant by because they're like returning to the wrong field or something firehawks coming through they clean up another couple of venoms and they're right able to they're just perfectly able to stay out of range of the venoms clean up a venom or two without much to worry about vertigo bombers circling through the map Drive and Phoenix looking for whatever damage they can possibly get. I think a couple of these tip spikes might be valuable targets for the teams to eliminate. And it looks like Phoenix's tip spike is going to get eliminated by Shock Trepid here, who has his own tip spike just a little bit to the north of that. So that slingshot does eventually go down. Shock Trepid has fully powered up. Rage Gen fires off, but I think everything was out of range of the Rage Gen. So I don't know that it actually did anything. Ooh, these Orcas, one of them finally does go down. I think they were both fully heroic, but one of them does survive. Firehawks passing through the Venoms once again. Drive being very active with his air forces. He's not necessarily being able to be as active on the ground. Ever since his Marv went down, he has not rebuilt much of a ground army. He's got a couple of forces running around here and there. I imagine it's just a problem of money. Just does not have enough cash to fuel another big ground army. So it's about drawing out the fight and trying to extend the battle with Shock Trepid so that they can bleed him out. Eclipse. He's got that crowd of Venoms somewhere on the map. Orca's coming in from Drive trying to thin out the Juggernaut numbers. And Eclipse, I'm not sure what he's going to do to help Shock Trumpet, but it feels like it's going to take the both of them attacking, maybe even from multiple angles, to be able to crack Drive and Phoenix. Drive and Phoenix really don't feel like they have any desire to move out from their base. They have been playing very passive and very defensive for the last couple of minutes here. So I think it's going to be up to Eclipse and Shock Trepid to break into this base. A couple of rocket squads on the south side of the map. They do think that they find an angle into the base of Drive and Phoenix, but it's mostly riflemen and APCs here to deal with that. Still no AP ammo on these units. You'd think at this point they would have gotten that AP ammo upgrade. They do absolutely shred that infantry army regardless. Another beacon firing off there by Shock Trepid. I think maybe he was saying, hey, check out these Firehawks and uh, maybe kill them. The MCV on the move from Phoenix. Uh, beacon being fired off there by various players as I think they're trying to coordinate and organize themselves. An absolutely insane mid-game in this match and now in the ultra late game wonky hour things have definitely gone a bit weird as these guys do not know what is the right move and i mean no one has really been in this situation on this map before so how do you even know what the right move is engineer of phoenix does get sniped there by eclipse nicely done with those venoms another radar jamming missile firing off i don't know if that was an attempt at an mcv steal could have been an engineer trying to sneak his way into something or other. Magnetic mines on the field. And an ion cannon from Shock Trepid. So this is something for Phoenix and Drive to deal with. There's the laser fence going down pretty much immediately. 
And it's like, all right, we got to do something about that ion cannon. Otherwise, he will be able to break open our front door with the ion cannon. And in that case, Shock Trepid literally would just want to gather pretty much all of his forces together. And uh, one Orca goes down for one Juggernaut there. Orca a little bit more expensive to replace than the Juggernaut. Vertigo Bombers come through for a bombing run. Rage Gen fires off. Uh, a couple of Rocket Squads will pay the price for that. Venom's flying into the Rage Gen, it looks like. Rockets in that Redeemer, a good choice by Phoenix. This Rifleman is, I think, just hanging out in this Tib field, and that is what is doing a bit of damage. Stealth Redeemer trying to escape the forces of Shock Trepid, and yeah, Shock Trepid might just wait this one out. He's got like 4 minutes 50 on the clock. Puts a bit of pressure on Drive and Phoenix. And I mean, if he does wait it out, then Shock Trepid really wants to attack everything in one little area so that he hopefully packs his opponent's army as close together as possible. Ooh, this foxhole of Shock Trepid is actually blocking off some of these tib, field, tib uh, patches from being able to be harvested. Avatars from Phoenix. He has finally built himself back up to an Avatar army. He has been slowly but surely coming back online. Pitbulls are going to be uh, doing a bit of damage to themselves with that mortar. A bit of friendly fire happening. Phoenix finally with enough cash under his belt. Buggies around the map getting annihilated by those juggernauts. And, well, the Venoms are going to be getting pushed back by Phoenix. He's got a lovely spread. Ooh, Shockwave Artillery going to be firing off. Can the Redeemer get caught? Yes, it will. Juggernaut's going to be closing in. Rocket Squads as well. More Juggernauts from the south. Shock Trepid wants to go for the kill here, and he's going to be able to land some heavy damage on that Redeemer. Can he actually secure the kill to go and take away that target? The EMP locks him down. The Rage Gen fires off just in time, and the Avatar head forward to try and save that Redeemer EMP firing off there and locking down. Oh, the shockwave or the orbital bombardment is going to be what actually seals the deal. And now the engineer inside of that Redeemer barely able to keep him alive. Phoenix keeps his hopes alive and Shock Trepid may not be able to pull off the 1v2 as Phoenix and Drive are slowly but surely mounting a northern assault. A bit of a comeback here as they're finding the angle to do the damage shock trap it may be forced into an all-out assault with anything that he has left juggernauts stomping their way forward drive and phoenix have maybe done it or through an attack path on the north side of the map they have broken the original main base of shock which was the only base that hadn't been destroyed since the beginning of the game and now it has fallen and there's nothing shock can do about it a couple of engineers being packed along by phoenix an excellent choice by him to recover as many of these expensive husks as he possibly can would be nice if drive brought along a rig as well keep those units full power Power plants getting targeted, barracks as well, trying to eliminate as much infrastructure as they possibly can, and at the same time, if they can slow down that ion cannon timer by killing the power, that would also be good for Phoenix and Drive. Phoenix and Drive, it feels like they have definitely brought themselves back from the brink of destruction. I thought Shock Trepid just had too much stuff. Shock Trepid had been really cautious and careful with his army he had been able to survive so many fights with similar units and just coming through with a very powerful force but uh he was not able to muster his army and keep up the aggression to be able to knock these guys out of the game another harvester getting targeted down another harvester getting eliminated on the north side of the map that engineer going for something Firehawks coming through. There's going to be actually shockwave artillery no longer as uh, Drive actually calls in a bit of a support power. And the refinery will be targeted and captured by Phoenix. 
He gets the capture on now a GDI refinery. Not that that's going to do him much good. Orca Strike comes in, does about three quarters, maybe 60% health damage to that. And where did that Redeemer just emerge from? Oh, I think that was Eclipse's Redeemer. So Eclipse fighting back against Phoenix. Phoenix does manage to land one Shredder turret here before the refinery goes down to the overwhelming firepower. And unfortunately, that is just a regular Rifleman squad, so no EMP possibility. The Redeemer surviving and healing back up. 30 seconds on the clock. Shock Trepid is not going to be stopped. This Ion Cannon, I think, will fire off, and it's going to just annihilate this army if they stay close together like this, allowing the Redeemer of Eclipse to close the distance. 15 seconds here. It looks like the attack command was already given. An additional uh, beacon being dropped there by Drive so that he's got the vision and the stealth detection there. Venoms are here, but the Pitbulls are coming in to try and clear them out. And the Ion Cannon ready to go right here on top of this. Yep. No big blast from the sky anymore. It's very unfortunate that the Ion Cannon looks dumb now. It just gets the charge up lasers and that's pretty much it. But the Redeemer gets eliminated and a good use of the Ion Cannon by Shock Trepid who leaves the game and the GG gets called. So I guess that was a little bit useless in the south there, but that will do it for a pretty crazy back and forth 2v2 in 1.03 on a map that I cannot pronounce the name of. Definitely check out East versus West coming May 8th and 15th. There's gonna be some live streams from I think the regular guys. So I'll have some links in the description and also in the trailer of the East versus West event. Big thanks to these guys for playing this match and that is 1.03 de-emphasized epic units. Massive changes to small things all throughout the game and Shock Trepid just wasn't able to close it out on this particular match. That'll do it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching and this is Cybert signing out.